Hello everybody. Today I thought I'd talk about the jewel thieves a little bit. I'm trying to learn how they work and I've been putting a few together. I just thought I'd show you what I've been doing. This here is a pretty much basic circuit of the jewel thief. And it works quite well. The first thing I did is I sent away and got one of these little tiny, tiny kits. <laughs> it was about five dollars. I put it together and it works it works good. And then I uh, I built one here on a breadboard. Uh, the torrid here I got got out of an old TV or something. I don't remember what. Maybe it was an old radio. <laughs> now, anyway, uh, I, I put it together on there and uh, got a little tiny battery here. You can see it works quite well. There really isn't a whole lot to it. Just a resistor, a transistor, and a LED and a torrid, a little wire. And it works just pretty neat. It works pretty good. Then I uh, put together a little guy here that I call Bright Eyes. <laughs> it's a little circuit board I got from Radio Shack for a buck. And the torrid that I had, a used part, I wrapped it, put a little hot glue in it to keep everything in one place. And I came up with a little holder for the uh, LED. I glued it in place. And uh, I went on the bottom here and I hot glued two little AA battery holders in place, or AAA battery holders in place. And I put two uh, 1.2 batteries in there in parallel. The batteries are out of the uh, solar yard lights, and so are the holders. I buy the uh, yard lights at the dollar store for a buck, and you really can't beat it. You get two good batteries, holders, and plus you get the solar cell. So I've been using all that stuff, getting a pretty good deal. <laughs> anyway, I put a little switch on there. You can see him there, right there. Yeah. Turn him off and on. And believe you me, he is really bright. He makes for a good little flashlight. <laughs> My little bright eyes. Pretty neat. Uh, anyway, I went from there to trying to get away from that torrid. So, just for experimenting around, I put another one together over here. They did basically the same thing. I used a little board from a uh, circuit board from Radio Shack and a couple of battery holders and a couple of them AAA batteries from a uh, yard solar light. Uh, this time, though, you don't see no torrid there. That's because I wound two coils. To replace the to, to take the place of the torrid, that's number 26 wire, 50 wraps on each coil, and I soldered some leads onto them and little clips so I can experiment around with them. And I have a little switch right here in the front, I'll turn it on. This light here is uh 28 leads in there, LEDs in there, and this is a little gadget here that I was on the bottom, and I just trimmed it off. And I hooked on to the two leads going to the LEDs. And you can see that little 1.2 battery is lighting up all 28 of them LEDs. And if I raise this uh, coil up over here, you can see the whole thing here. It uh, controls the brightness of that light very well. And then just messing around, they decided to try. I made a, another coil here. This is uh, still 26 gauge wire. This is 150 wraps. I set it on top of there, on top of them. And let me shut this one light out a second. And you can see it lights all six of them up, no problem. And it lights up these 28. I thought that was pretty darn neat. <laughs> I mean, a lot more experimenting to do, and I got a lot more to learn about the uh, Jewel Thieves. I'm finding out they're a lot of fun. There's a lot of more things I can do with them and I will be doing with them. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that much with you. Keep, keep, keep you up to date on what the, I'm monkeying around with. <laughs> it works pretty darn good. Thanks for watching.